in these problems, we're being asked to write numbers as a list of or a product of prime factors. Sometimes this is called a prime factorization. So instead of writing, let's say, the number 10, you would write 2 times 5. 2 and 5 are both prime numbers. So it represents 10 as it's a multiplication of its prime factors. So that's what we're supposed to do with all of these numbers. So uh, it says write 44 as a product of prime factor. So how would you do this? Well, I think probably the most intuitive way is just to start dividing. If you see that something is divisible um, by something else, especially if it's a prime number, that's a good way to get going. And let's just actually list uh, some of the um, small prime numbers. We have two, three, five, seven, well, we can go up to 11, but really you're probably going to mostly just need 2, 3, 5, and 7 to get the prime factorizations of most of these numbers. So 44, right away, it's even, so I know it's divisible by 2. So let's take 44 and divide it by 2, and we get 22. Okay, so so far we've factored out a 2. So I'm going to circle that to keep it on my list. Now 22, ah, it looks like we can divide that by 2 again. So I'm going to divide that by 2, and that gives us 11. So I got another 2. Oh, and 11 is prime, so that is a factor 2. So 2 times 2 times 11 is the prime factorization of 44. And I can double check that by multiplying those together again. 2 times 2 is 4 times 11 would be 44. Yeah, that checks out. So this is the prime factorization of 44. Let's try that with one more. So 28, well, that's also even. So let's try dividing 28 by 2, first of all. And let's see, 28 divided by 2, that'd be 14. So we factored it out of 2. That's still even, so I'm going to divide it by 2 again. And 14 divided by 2 is 7. Aha, and 7 is prime. So we got 2 times 2 times 2 seven for our prime factorization. If you multiply all those together again, it should uh, come out to 28. You can try that on your own and see if it really works. So that is how to do a prime factorization.